Hello, this is Todd Luck, and this is a review of Power Pack number five, part of the Outlawed crossover. This is the final issue of this five issue mini series. This is written by Ryan North, who did Squirrel Girl, uh, which is why I picked it up. And so let's take a look at this cover real quick. Um, I think most of the covers have just been okay for this mini series. And there's nothing wrong with the rendering. It's just, I don't know, there's something weird about it. I don't know if it's the position of the wizard or how small the power pack is in this cover or just how dark it is. But it just it it's just weird and it just doesn't necessarily jive with the feel of the inside. Um, it's just kind of okay. It doesn't really sell me on the issue, but the draw is on the inside. And we begin with Katie's recap page again. And again, this is, you know, a little inaccurate for her age and intelligence level that she would draw this way and, you know, not be able to spell basic words. But on the other hand, it's such a good gag. And I look forward to this every issue. And I'm going to so miss these recap pages. This, kids, this is Wolverine. <laughs> And the real artwork in the series can also be quite delightful. Um, I still think this artist does a great job with the at-home scenes, the uh, out-of-costume scenes. Um, still have a little mixed feelings about the you know superhero action scenes, but I think the storytelling in this comic is really good, and I really can't show it to you without spoiling the story, so just take my word on it. So this is the last part of a five-issue miniseries. And in my last review of issue four, I said that, you know, this finally felt like Ryan North was kind of getting this territory and everything felt right in the story. And it just felt like he was really connecting with the characters and that he was going to master it in issue five and then would never write Power Pack again. And sure enough, that's exactly what happens. This issue is just a pure delight from cover to cover. Ryan North comes up with a very clever way for them to defeat the wizard. And it's it's just a joy to read. It, it just it really is a great story that feels like power pack. It's clever, it's funny in a natural way, and it was just a joy to read. You know, and I came into this as an uninitiated, you know, not big into power pack person. But by the end of this issue, I would totally be down with a power pack ongoing series written by Ryan North. I would totally be on board for that. Now, that's not really in the cards, but it's still good that we got this one good series. Sometimes it, you know, there are some characters and some franchises that just kind of lurch forward five issues at a time. And that's okay. At least you got one more good story with those characters. And as I've been saying, this isn't going to do for Power Pack what he did with Squirrel Girl, which turned her into, you know, this big marketable franchise. Um, because basically this is a book that's part of a crossover using characters that are already in someone else's book. So essentially you're handing the toys to Ryan North. He's playing with them in a very entertaining way. And then when he's done, he's putting them back, as he found them, back on the shelf. Now, there is a scene at the end. The ending does open up a possibility of a change of status quo for them. But as the text at the end says, most likely that won't happen. It leaves it kind of open-ended. And, you know, even the story itself is kind of like, yeah, they're probably not going to do that. It's probably going to be the same thing when you see him again. But it, it's just very cleverly written and was still an absolute joy to read. And so I'm absolutely going to recommend this miniseries. If you want to pick it up and trade, I think that works well. Um, the covers, you know... Except for issue two, there was nothing there I really wanted to display on my shelf. If you do pick up the individual issues, just be aware Marvel has switched to a thinner paper stock and it is really easy to damage this or get your fingerprints on it or whatever. So just be careful with the covers. And so it's a really good series if you're looking for something that's a little lighter, a little different with the superhero stuff and, you know, something that mixes kind of light family drama with superhero action 
and, you know, throws in some, you know, kind of smart stuff about science and about little quips about, you know, the Marvel Universe's conventions. You know, Wolverine it is pretty good for stealth for a guy who runs around in the yellow spandex. Oh, I'm going to miss Ryan North. I hope he writes more Marvel comics. But um, one thing I did discover today is that um, most of Squirrel Girl is available with a Comixology Unlimited subscription. It gives you access to, you know, tens of thousands of comics for like, I think it's like seven bucks a month or something. It's, it's almost nothing. Um, and, most, and a lot of it you can read with the, that subscription, but it's going to stop at some point. But if you go on their website and you have subscribed to Comixology Unlimited, they offer you half off of trade paperbacks and, and comics. I don't know if this is all of them. I don't know if this is a permanent sale or whatever, but I just went on there and I bought all the trade paperbacks I hadn't read for half off and they were like three or four bucks a pop. There is no excuse to re not read Squirrel Girl at this point. It is a wonderful series. It will enlighten your life. It will bring you joy. It is just such a good series. So anyway, that's my thoughts on Power Pack. Now that they've been put back on the shelf, maybe we'll see them again someday. Um, hopefully Ryan North will get to play with somebody else's toys soon. Uh, but I've uh, got more reviews coming, so like and subscribe for more videos. And until next time, see ya.